guys. Today we're going to read How to Code a Sandcastle by Josh Funk, illustrated by Sarah Palacios. And this is a Girls Who Code book, so great for you guys. Hello world, I'm Pearl. It's the last day of summer vacation, which means today is my very last chance to build a sandcastle. You see the picture? There she is in her bathing suit on the beach with her family, getting ready to build a sandcastle. I tried every single day, but something always ruins it. First came the flying saucers, then the shark attack, and maybe worst of all was the moat that Ada Puglace added. I wonder if Ada is named after Ada Lovelace. Do you know who that is? No! Look it up. But today I've got the perfect plan. I brought my trusty rust-proof robot, Pascal. Say hello to the world, Pascal. Hello, world. He'll do whatever I tell him as long as I tell him in code. It's not a secret code. It's special instructions that computers understand. Oh, we've done that. We've been on code.org, right? And we've done coding in Scratch. Now build a sandcastle, Pascal. Processing, processing, processing. Hmm. I guess he doesn't know how to do that. But a coder takes one big problem and breaks it into several smaller ones. If I give Pascal enough instructions that he does know, We'll build this castle in no time. It'll be easy. So there is Pascal. There she is. Mm. Small problem number one, find a place to build. Pascal, find a flat spot away from all dogs and frisbees. Oh, he went into the ocean. No, Pascal, we need to be on land. Oh, now he went in the parking lot. Too far! I guess I need to be very specific with my instructions. Pascal, find a flat spot on the sand that isn't too close to the water. Hmm, this isn't as easy as I thought, but at least we have a place to build. My gosh, that would have been funny trying to build it on the water, right? Small problem number two, gather up sand. Now we'll need a huge pile of sand. It's very important to tell Pascal everything in the correct sequence. That means in the right order. One, fill the pail with sand. Two, dump the sands on our spot. Three, pat the sand down. Great job, Pascal. Let's do it again. Fill the pail, dump the sand, pat it down. And again, fill, dump, pat. This is getting so boring because you have to tell them the same thing over and over again, right? You're repeating your instructions. There must be a coding trick I can use. Aha! A loop. When you need to repeat something in code, you can use a loop. Pascal, loop this sequence. One, fill the pail with sand. Two, dump the sand on our spot. Three, pat the sand down. This still might take a while. I'm going to relax while you work. But look how many times he can do it now. When you use a loop, that makes things so much faster. Instead of having to write that code over and over. So she's lying down on the sand, resting. Uh-oh. Uh I think that's big enough. Time for a break, Pascal. That's a lot of sand. How big a sand castle is she gonna make? Small problem number three. Shape and decorate the castle. Let's each find some fancy decorations and bring them back here. I've got seashells. What do you have, Pascal? That's way too big. Hmm. You need to find something smaller and maybe something that's not alive. Ah, we need something that isn't moving because now he brought her a crab. Pascal, that's not ours. <gasps> he took the baby's pacifier away. Maybe I need to give him better instructions. 
an if then else should do the trick. I know that if then, I've seen that in coding. If the item you see is small and doesn't move and doesn't belong to anyone, then bring the item back to the castle, else find something different. Perfect, let's shape the castle and decorate. Okay, those are perfect, right? You can do that, a seashell and some leaves. Whew. Good thing she thought of that if then else sequence. Ooh, nice job. Now our castle is finally finished. Wait here. Look at that, here they are working on it all together. I'll be right back with some toys. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? They did a great job. Oh no! Are you ready to play? Oh no, what happened? Of course, it's high tide and our castle, it's all gone. Go ahead, pee. You can't make a moat today. Wait. There they are, the water coming up on the castle. And I think she's got an idea. A moat? Because you know, moats were made to protect the castles, right? That's why we have moats. A moat would have protected the castle from the tide. If only I had thought of a moat earlier. It took half the day to figure out how to code a sand castle. But hold on. I already wrote the code to build the sand castle. I can easily use all that code again. One, find a place to build. Two, gather up sand. Three, shape and decorate the castle. But we're not done, because once you write the code, you could just use it again, right? You don't have to rewrite it. Now we've got a new problem. What's the new problem? What did you want to build around that castle? <laughs> a new sequence should solve this small problem. Small problem four, build a moat. And I know how to write one of those. Let's try. One, dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. And we need to repeat that until we've gone all around the castle. I know another loop. One, dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with the sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. Because once you write the code, it's done, right? Just repeat it. And she knows now to use a loop to make things easier. That's enough, Pascal. Hooray, our sand castle is finally finished and safe from the ocean. Let's play. Hmm. Hey, Pascal. Now that we know, it looks beautiful, how to code one sand castle. What do you think she's thinking? Hmm. We can code an entire kingdom. Oh my goodness, right? Because once you have the code, you can just do it again and again and again. Loop all the code together to make more than one. Return the end. And I want you to know, notice that text. You see the way the text is written with those parentheses and the slashes? Because that's how coders write. And this book is dedicated to girls. Because maybe you will become a famous coder someday. And you'll say, I remember learning how to code at Roy Ball Allard Elementary School. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you Monday.